Another update for you is, um, you like this one because it's going to be technical. I've had a problem with my power, I've only had about 70% power and I couldn't figure out why, so I thought I'd check the timing. Now the challenge with this Jag V12 engine is there's no timing marks on it. None at all. Normally on an engine you have a little gauge, <coughs> similar to the fuel pressure gauge, similar to that, and it's got markings on it for before and after top dead centre. But this hasn't got it, so what I've had to do is find top dead centre of the engine. Ooh, that's worked out well. So, the way you find top dead centre, take number one spark plug out, which, when you pass me finger, is that one there. Take the HT leads off it, stick your finger in the hole, and turn the engine over. And as it comes up on the compression stroke, the compression will pop your finger out of the hole. Now, to be honest with you, that sounds great in theory, but in reality, it's fucking terrifying. So... I didn't do that twice, so what I did is I got a rubber glove and I filled loads of paper or loads of tissue down one of the fingers of the rubber glove and I shoved the rubber glove finger in the hole and then turned it over again and as the piston comes up, it pops the rubber glove out. So you turn the engine off, you put it back on, you do that a couple of times, put a little bit of Tipex on your flywheel, it doesn't matter where you put it, just put it on. So you've got an idea of where top dead centre is, so then... You do it once more time, and then it pops the glove out and you turn the engine off. Then put a screwdriver in the cylinder, and with a spanner, rotate the engine backwards and forwards. Now as you're rotating the engine backwards and forwards, the spanner will go up and down, until you're pretty much sure that you've got it right in the middle, and when it's right in the middle, it's not going up, not going down, you've got top dead centre. Then what you've got to do is find the middle of your pulley wheel, oh, I'm leaning on the bonnet release. So you find the middle of your pulley wheel. Now the way I've done that, is you've got a bit of fishing line and a socket, that's just a wobbly head. And I hung that down the center of the, um, the pulley wheel. Obviously I measured it all, made sure it was in the middle. And then when I was sure I was in the middle, I marked the pulley wheel, which is that mark there. That's the top dead center. Then, because the timing says it works on static at 10 degrees before top dead centre, I got a protractor and I worked out that 10 degrees before was that one there and I timed the engine up and it wouldn't work and then I realised that was 10 degrees after so I did it all again and that one there is 10, 10 degrees before. So, if that's top dead centre, working on my plumb line, I rotated it back so that that one was straight up in the air and that was how I done my static timing and that's how I got the engine started. Then I made this little bracket, just riveted on, it's just a bit of aluminium and I lined that edge up there, lined that up with my plumb line, again put my little bit of string back on and um, I lined them up so that we knew that that line there was on line with top dead centre. That middle one that's 10 degrees before top dead centre. And then that one there is 18 degrees before top dead centre. So when the engine's running, that one there should line up with that one there. And then when it's at 3,000 revs, that one there, sorry, that one there should line up with that one there. Sounds complicated, but it's not. It's just... It's just a little bit of maths and a little bit of arsing about, but once you understand it, it's actually dead easy. The ad pass is lining it up, so let me just start this up. Let me get, um, hang on a minute, let me sort out my immobiliser. All right. That noise you can hear would be the um, fuel pump priming, so just bear with me a minute. Right, now that's ticking over fairly nice now, and if I get my strobe gun, it might not be dark enough for this, hang on. Alright, I don't think it's dark enough. I can see that the timing there is pretty much spot on. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that because... 
the um, well it's the middle of the day and the camera is pulsing you can just see it anyway so that tells me that my timing is spot on uh, so now what I've got to do to get full power is adjust the mix yeah let me just get out so that's pretty much how you work out the timing on a V12 it all needs tidying. let me get round the back so the sun is behind me there you go the sun behind me it makes it a little bit more clear um, I've got to tidy this up and give it a bit of a paint because it's been a bit manky um, just because I've been working on it and fucking it's getting on my nerves but that's where we're up to anyway the engine's running the timing's done I've just got to adjust the mix here a little bit which means adjusting the butterflies here just play with the butterflies and play with the mix here just to get me full power back because at the moment like I say it's only running on about 70% power but we'll get there so for all you people who want us an update that's where we're up to oh that wire by the way if you're wondering what that wire is because the leads are only short on the strobe gun that's going from me positive round and I've got it connected there look just so this bloody strobe gun works um, because the leads on the strobe are only short and there's another thing for you if the battery's in the back of your car and the fucking pulley wheels in the front of the car it's all just one great big pain in the ass. but there you go next time I'm gonna buy a skateboards because they're easier to work on so happy days if you need to and timing your kick car up or timing the engine up don't email me don't ring me because I'm not doing it all again because it's a pain in the ass tiddly bye